All right, what the heck is a custom GPT? Should you use it? What should you use it for? What's the difference between that and normal chat GPT? All right, give me about five-ish minutes and I'm gonna tell you mostly everything that you need to know. All right, if this is something that you really care about. Also, make sure we just did a like 50 minute video uh, on this live stream on uh, custom GPTs and chat GPT. So uh, I'll leave the link for that here in this description, but let's go on and answer some of the most common questions that people have about custom GPTs. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure to go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, as well as get today's recap. All right, so let's just jump into it, but I wanna hear in the comments, how many GPTs have you built? All right, so here's some of the most common questions. Why would I use a custom GPT in chat GPT? Well, one of the most common ways or reasons is you might want to upload your own knowledge base. I call this kind of like, it's an oversimplified way to say it's mini rag, uh, you, you know, retrieval augmented generation where you are, uh, you, you know, first telling chat GPT to use your own data, your own instructions first. So that's probably one of the biggest reasons. Uh, what are custom GPTs for? Well, anything, right? Uh, I think it's great. Think of yourself. You're probably a, most people are knowledge workers, right? A company pays you for your domain specific knowledge, for your expertise, uh, for your I experience, right? So you can build, uh, you know, dozens of, of highly specific customized GPTs based on your experience, based on data uh, that you can upload uh, inside of a GPT's knowledge base. Reminder, never upload confidential uh, proprietary, sensitive, PII, PHI, never upload that into a custom GPT. Can I create my own chat GPT? Well, yeah, that's kind of what you're doing uh, with a custom GPT. Again, these are beginner questions. I want to make sure that I knock them all out. Uh, so essentially, you can either, you know, kind of uh, restrict the default uh, capabilities or the uh, the default functionality uh, of chat GPT with a default uh, or, or by creating a custom GPT, or you can add to it, right? Mainly by adding your own knowledge base, your own custom instructions, or tapping into third-party uh, APIs, you know, bringing in your own JSON, YAML, et cetera. So you can uh, essentially make it restrict it and, and have it focus on, uh, you know, something more specific, or you can expand it by giving it more knowledge uh, and more access to outside or third-party tools. Are custom GPTs free? No, not really. But also, yes, let me explain. Uh, you have to have uh, at least ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 a month, or ChatGPT Teams, which I would personally recommend, which is $30 a month. You need to have a minimum of two seats, maximum of 149 to be on a Teams plan. That does allow you to share those a little more easily. But once you have a paid plan, then it is technically free to create however many custom GPTs you want. So yes, you do have to have a paid ChatGPT Plus, ChatGPT Teams, ChatGPT Enterprise account. However, once you do, they're free at that point. It's not like you pay per custom GPT. Can they only be used in chat GPT? Yes. Right. So if, if you're using just the builder, and again, these are questions for beginners. Yes, they must be used inside of chat GPT. You can go the assistance route and use the assistance API and build something similar that can be used on your company's website. But if we're just talking about building chat GPTs within the chat GPT builder, no, you cannot uh, use them anywhere else. They have to be used inside of chat GPT. Uh, how do you use your own custom GPTs? Well, once you're done building them in the builder, uh, you essentially just hit the at key to at mention them. So if you're in the default mode of chat GPT, as an example, let's say you build 10 custom GPTs based on different tasks or different roles or different areas of expertise, right? If you categorize all the work that you do, maybe you have 10 little GPTs um, and then you can at mention all of them, even in the same conversation, however, one at a time, um, and you can keep all of the context uh, of that conversation in the same thread. Do you need to know how to code to create a GPT? No, uh, it's very simple. You can use the GPT builder using natural language to talk to the GPT builder, and it will actually build the uh, configuration instructions for you. You can also build those config uh, configure instructions manually. And if you can code, obviously, uh, you, you know, you can add a lot more uh, features and functionality to your uh, custom GPT, but by default, no, you don't need to. If, if you can talk to a chatbot, it will build it for you. It's kind of nice. Um, but like I said, if you are a developer coder, uh, you can tap into, you, you know, third-party APIs, uh, you, you know, JSON, YAML, et cetera. How are custom GPTs different than chat GPT? Well, there's a lot of ways, but the main ways is you can bring in your own 
uh, documents, uh, you, you know, your own knowledge base as well as configure it. So it's different than custom instructions. When you have custom instructions, uh, those apply unilaterally to all of your chats, which is why I said all along, that's a marketing feature. Don't use custom instructions, uh, because if you're using chat GPT for a variety of use cases, right? Like writing, researching, analysis, et cetera, you probably don't want a single set of custom instructions applied to all of those. Think if you're using it for personal reasons, business, multiple clients, et cetera. Uh, so that's why custom GPTs individually are great. So you do have kind of like that custom instructions feature, but on a per GPT basis that don't apply to all of your new chats or all of your GPTs like custom instructions would. Uh, how are custom GPTs different than plugins? Well, they're a lot different. I miss plugins. Plugins were much uh, more useful in my opinion. Uh, custom GPTs are easier. Anyone can build a uh, custom GPT. It was a little harder. You had to have development experience to build uh, chat GPT plugins or at least hire someone. Uh, literally anyone that can type and can um, read um, and write can build a GPT. It's extremely easy. Uh, you know, I think there's last count was like 4 million plus something like that GPTs in the GPT store. Can I publish my GPT in the GPT store? Yes, you can. It's very simple. Two clicks. Uh, you know, when you, there's options, you can, uh, have your GPT be just for you. You can have it be unlisted so you can select who gets access to that, or you can have it be public and uh, have it in the GPT store. However, I would recommend you, uh, there's very simple uh, kind of prompts that you can run that uh, other people, if you don't know what you're doing, may just copy your, your GPT. So if you do publish it in the GPT store, know that there is some risk that comes with that. And also that's another reason why you should never put personal uh, information, co confidential, uh, you know, et cetera. Uh, can you sell custom GPTs? Not by default. So in the GPT store, only the highest use or most used GPTs are monetized. And it's not a lot of money if I'm being honest, right? Uh, the, the most highly used, I last I read the most highly used GPTs got like a couple thousand dollars, something like that. Um, but you can sell them individually. You can't do that, however, through the GPT store. So uh, when you do set the uh, permission settings, you can set it to uh, unlisted and then you would need to use a third party service uh, tool or tactic to sell access to that. However, then anyone with that uh, link could, in theory, give it to anyone else. So uh, technically, uh, you can sell access to your custom GPTs that then anyone with a paid chat GPT account could use. However, all it takes at that point is for someone to share that link with someone else, and then you're technically not selling it. So you'd have to either change the uh, URL frequently uh, to cut down on that or find a different route. How can I share my GPT with your team? So like when I said, you can un, uh, you can have it essentially be private and only accessible to those that you share the link with. Also, if you have a chat GPT Teams account, which I think is highly, is, is really worth it, then you can uh, manage uh, GPT sharing that way. Uh, so that's it. Those are just some of the basic questions about uh, a beginner's guide to custom GPTs in chat GPT. If this was helpful, let me know. We've been planning uh, a GPT course for actually a long while. Hopefully it'll be done soon. So just type in inner circle. Uh, sorry if it takes me a while to get back to you, uh, but I'll make sure to find your information and uh, make sure you get access to when we do launch uh, that free GPT course. I hope this was helpful. If so, please tell your friends, share about it, but also sign up on our website, youreverydayai.com. Hope this was helpful. We'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.